I'm sorry, Dragon Knight. Join me for a drink, Dragon Knight. We are merely some sort of ecclesiastic. No, no, I I'm just a waitress. What is that supposed to mean? That temple is another map. Great treasure. What? No! Until my entire command was wiped out today. Very expensive. You, with your strange eyes, there are still decent people in this world. Look, I found the entrance to the tomb. May Earth's Ring's helmet protect me. What is at stake here? You can use some training, Dragon Knight. The fish or the sword? In search of fortune, we... They desire the amorous touch of Aphrodite, after all. The war. So many we've lost. Let me go and I swear from the bottom of my heart I won't tell a soul. This debauched incarnation of lechery. I live! Alright, alright. I get it. It's time to cut this sequence. Come then, have a look! Welcome to Divinity 2 Ego Draconis. A world where everyone has the same face and dragons are considered a menace even though they cannot harm anything that's not the size of a skyscraper. A world that tried to make dragon people cool two years before Skyrim. A world that is probably Oregon. A world where people have a huge D and they own it. Not Divinity 2 is how your adventure really look like, where you have no freaking idea where you're going or what you're going to discover. While sometimes this lack of directions may leave you frustrated, it could also generate some interesting experiences and situations, and even contribute to immersion. Now please bear with me for a moment, because I have a rather convincing hypothesis for you. Contrary to the popular belief, this game actually takes place in an endless universe. I believe by now you've managed to notice how they are mostly clones in this game. Now, take a look at this guy. Pure perfection. I know. The man's name is Horatio, and he's the strongest clone spammer in the entire universe. In the world of Ego Draconis, the strongest wizard looks like this. I'm not the only one who sees a connection here, am I? Maxos is the Horatio Gigantus. Not that I've ever seen one. Now that we've uncovered that this game is just masked up Horatio indoctrination, let's return to what I think about it. Well, what's there to say? The game is simply fun, and the saddest part about it is that it clearly does not represent what the devs had originally intended for it to be. You have random crashes, condition-specific crashes, like loading screen crashes, resolution discrepancy crashes, weird data migration between the add-on and the main game that also results in crashes. The development team must have been like, The only thing holding her together are the bird droppings, sir. Amen. Only a moron would find humor in bird poop. This is the way! Gameplay-wise, there are definitely some questionable decisions and blind spots. I personally had rather unfortunate experience with a quest where I had to save an NPC from an inevitable doom and ended up wasting a few hours trying to find a way to somehow stop that imbecile from performing his suicide charge. However, the amount of flexibility your skill tree offers is so vast you can be a Lagalos and satisfy your inner Onichan fetish at the same time. Gambatte! But memorable moments-wise, this game has much to offer. There are swindlers, tricksters, liars, and even pumpkins waiting for you around every corner. And it's your job to see through the veil by carefully looking for hints scattered all over the world. A job which I have failed multiple times to my own amusement. The ability to mind read in exchange for your experience opened up so many narrative nuances that allow each interaction to feel like a minigame. Even in its current state, you can clearly see that the original Sin's success was never a coincidence. These people had it in them back in 2009, or maybe even earlier, I've yet to play Divine Divinity and Beyond Divinity. The fact that they had fun creating this is palpable. The story of Larian Studios is a great example of how you can achieve greatness through consistent effort and polish. It took this team more than 15 years to finally blow up. And before we part our ways, read the mind of every NPC, I beg you. My baby! Dragon Knight, please aid me! I did cement her beauty! Lee. We'll have riots as well as undead to deal with. It took a big dragon knight to save me when my husband's a champion. Come, Karen. We have some detective work to do. Oh, all right. It's the biggest specimen I have ever seen. Don't tell my husband. Not that I have anything to hide, mind you. <laughs> I just value some discretion. How no fault. Never again. What do you want? 
Not ladylike, or merely what you do not expect, you male pig. Hello, darkness, my 